welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to be going through my um, sketchbook slash scrapbook thing. I just finished this recently, uh, which is very cool. Because um, this is the first one I've ever filled. Uh, it says I started in November 2017. That is not entirely accurate. I started, let's see, I think I started about here in November 2017. But a lot of this this first bit is not chronological because this is like an old book that I turned into a sketchbook. So this page and like this page, they're from ages and ages and ages ago. I don't know because I didn't date them. I'm just going to go through this and maybe talk a little bit about it. Um, so I've just got some stickers here and a postcard of I think the, the dude who wrote Alice in Wonderland. Possibly not. And then yeah, this is like the first page. I don't really remember doing this. Um, so it's from, from a long time ago. Um, this is a jar. I think I was trying to say something, uh, philosophical about labels, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, this is a media project I did, uh, at school. Um, and this is a little toad. Um, cause I, I sometimes watch, like, uh, videos when I'm drawing and some of those videos are like, Hank and Catherine play Mario Brothers, or whatever. This is a page from a sketchbook that I had when I was like seven or eight. Um, so that's that's quite interesting to look at. Same with this. Um, and then this is just some sketching. Uh, I did a lot of experimenting with paint. Uh, for the next few pages, um, which I think looks pretty cool, uh, like this, and this is just an X-wing. And then I learnt how to splatter watercolour, which was extremely exciting, and this is another page from a different book. Uh, and more paint. I really like this page. This is like a comic strip thing. It doesn't mean anything, uh, but I think it looks pretty cool. I like this bit um, and this like circle thing. And this is just small sketches. And a postcard about a Norwegian cookbook. This is a blindfolded drawing, uh, as is this. I really like this one. I like how like busy and stuff it is. Um, and this is just some more like lines. This is actually logos for my channel. Um, spread on by Visibility Week. Uh, I don't think this writing says anything. I think I just wanted to fill the page and it's just sort of rambling about nothing. Um, this is a really old like comic flip book that I made called Attack of the Killer Ducks. Uh, and it's about killer ducks who take over the world, I think. Yeah, and then they blow it up. Um, so that's nice. This is a page on flying snails. Uh, it says, the rare North Pacific flying snail inhabits most islands in the North Pacific archipelago. They evolved from regular snails, developing wings in order to get from island to island and hang out doing snail things. Why their eyebrows aren't attached to their bodies is still a mystery. However, many flying snail experts are looking into the matter. Um, so this is just a page of snails. <laughs> and I like this page, I like the colours. Um, they're not colours that I would traditionally go for, but I like how sort of vibrant and stuff it is. Uh, and I did some experimenting with a white pen that I got. Uh, this pen, actually. Um, it's just like a regular white gel pen, I think. This is some letters. I think, uh, and this is uh, another blindfolded drawing that I did. There's a video of that actually, um, somewhere. I made this after looking at all of those like ink blot e test things, um, cause I thought it was really cool. And I remember in like kindergarten, putting paint on one side of the page and then like squishing it and making a cool pattern. Um, I think this looks a bit like an elephant maybe. These are some Christmas card idea things um, that I did recently. A pencil sketch, uh, and then just some colored pencil text to stuff. Yoshi! Because um, I 
think I was watching more Super Mario Brothers. Um, this is a periodic table that I did when I was like, I don't know, a few years ago, 2016. Um, I like this drawing. This was when I got these new um, colored fine liners and I wanted to use them for something. I like this pot especially. Um, I don't know, I think it just looks cool. There's a video of me doing this as well. Um, this is more with those, more with those coloured fine liners. And this is like a floating city thing. I don't know. <laughs> uh, Shin's lyrics. And then I did this during a PD Rose stream. Um, so yeah. This page is probably one of my favourites. Um, this is a page from an encyclopedia. I think it's about Gurfas. Uh, <laughs> I just used um, Sharpie or something. Actually, I think I used my VidCon pen, which is which is this pen. Um, yeah, that I got from VidCon. Um, and this page uh, turned out really cool. I started by doing like just like lines and stuff in the middle, and then I like added some color, and then I was like, hmm, that's a boring picture so I did like a shape around and then filled like all of this in with like I don't know just lines and stuff um, I like this part it looks like a brain this is a turtle in a very unfortunate situation uh, another blindfold drawing uh, this is a watercolor that I did um, everyone's like, hey Rose, does that have a deep philosophical meaning? And I'm like, no, I just wanted to draw smoke. So, there's that. Um, this is just me smushing paint around. I like the colours in here. They kind of remind me of like, rainbow paddle pops. Or like, an oil spill. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, this is some watercolour. Um, I can't, yeah, I kind of like that. Uh, and then this is a sharpie pen and this is a purple ballpoint pen. Um, and this is Oscar the Grouch, obviously. I like this page too. I like how kind of simple it is. This is more Shin's lyrics, shockingly. Um, and then this is just some uh, acrylic paint and then I used that white pen to like draw some stuff over the top. Uh, I got a silver paint pen and I wanted to test it out, so I did this. Um, and this is watercolour. This bit in here took me a very long time. Um, and then the outside took me no time at all. Uh, but I think it looks really cool. It's like, I don't know, it's a diagram of nothing. Um, and then this is a uh, part of gold at the end of a rainbow, apparently. Uh, and I was testing out new markers. Um, and it says, all that glitters is gold. Although I think the lyrics are, uh, not all that glitters is gold. I just wanted to write something there about gold, so I don't know. It doesn't matter. Um, this is a map of Little Deplop. Um, I think I streamed a bit of this, yeah. Um, and then I finished it uh, the other day. This is, like, probably the most collage page. I did this on Christmas Day. And this is like, uh, this is like, don't forget to be awesome packaging, and then soap. This page smells really nice, because this is like a jasmine soap wrapper thing. Uh, and this is just me testing out new pens and markers and stuff. Um, and then, this is more of that, just like, testing things out. Um, and this is some figure drawing. This is the first time I tried that. I think it was semi-successful uh some of them are some of them are all right some of them are just like what happened here um but the, i did a little bit more of that in this book and i think i'm getting all right at it um this is just more of a collage page i really like this page like the colors and stuff um and this like old book thing Uh, this is some little monstery things that I drew. Um, I really like just making a shape and then giving it like a face. And then if I'm feeling generous, some limbs. Uh, and then you get all these cool little, cool little dudes. 
um, I'll figure drawing. And then this is a page that I did at the beach, so I just, I didn't, because it, it bleeds through because this paper's really thin. Um, so I usually stick something on this page, but instead I just like copied exactly mirror image of what was on this page, um, which is fine. I think it works. Um, and then this is something I did with my cousin. It is a glorious and refreshing can of Beepus, which is a meme. Uh, you can look it up if you really want to. Um, yeah. And this guy says, oh my god, is that a hacking Beepus? So, that's cool. This is a Wordle. Uh, and this is a page from a graphic novel um, that I copied uh, by Giovanni Rugano. Or possibly Rugano. I have no idea how Italian names work. Uh, and it's the new own call for graphic novel, which I think is cool. I just like that page, so I, I did a version of it. Uh, this is a poem I wrote about a caterpillar. Uh, so that's interesting. And I have a little caterpillar there. Um, and then this is just this is just a Doctor Who quote um, on a National Geographic page, I think maybe. I don't know. And this I don't know if you can see that very well. That's paint pen on like a magazine page. And then this looks very dark and sinister, but I just wanted to like add some detail to a figure drawing. Um, and then I didn't know how to draw eyes from the side, so I just gave him a blindfold. Uh, so, that's that situation. I think it's fine. <laughs> um, this is more of that white pen. The pages are quite hard to turn because it's a very thick book. You can see, like, that. It's not, yeah. This is more of that white pen. I was just drawing some, some jellyfish. Then I got these uh, pastels from the op shop for 50 cents which I was very excited about, are uh, the, these ones, these ones here. And there's like some missing and broken and stuff, but like, that's fine. Um, and so I just sort of experimented with them and they smudge quite easily. So I have this uh, piece of paper to just keep that from happening. Uh, this is some stippling I did. I could probably add some more to it, but stippling takes a very long time. <laughs> so yeah, I, th I like how it turned out. Um, this is a very colourful page. Uh, this is new watercolours that I tested out. And then just some, like, curly line things on top of this, like, trippy paper. Uh, this page caused a lot of controversy in the Peter Draws Discord. Uh, why is there a tea bag in your book, Rose? Asked some people. Uh, I don't know, I just put it there. <laughs> Uh, and then this is a, a doodly thing, yeah. Um, actually, I do remember why I put it there. This is like a like National Chinese tea label thing. So I think I I just put tea. Maybe I have no idea. Anyway, this is when we went to see Paddington. Uh, and there are the tickets, and then there's a little Paddington bear. Um, and this is just a page of stuff. I don't know. Um, there's another collage type page. Uh, and then this is a uh, Flying Snail comic. And this guy's like, what happened here? And then this guy's like, she tried colored pencils. And then this guy's like, oh. And then there's just this mess of um, uh, watercolor pencils, yeah. So I like drew some stuff and then went over it with water and it was a slight disaster, but it's fine. That's what sketchbooks are for. <laughs> Uh, this was when I hit 100 subscribers, which is like, I think yesterday, or possibly the day before. Uh, what day is it? Yeah, the day before yesterday. Um, so that's really cool. I might make an, another video about that, because uh, I'm very excited. And thank you, everyone who subscribed, because that's great. Um, more figure drawing, extreme sports edition, because they're all like, diving or jumping out of planes or whatever. And there's just a little hedgehog here. And then this is the end, with a promo for dftva.com. Uh, but yeah, so that's my that's my first sketchbook. Uh, I have a new one, which is this one. It's a bit smaller. Uh, it's A5. I don't know what size this is, but it's like like this is A4, and this is this one, and then this is A5. 
So I don't know what this size is, but I really like that size because this is a little bit small and this is a little bit big. Um, but this is the one I have at the moment. And I have a helicopter and nothing else. So that's cool. I think this is going to be more for like drawing and stuff and this one's going to be more for like scrapbooking. Um, but that's, yeah, that's, that's my sketchbook. I hope you enjoyed. Um, and yeah, I'll, I'll be making more videos soon. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.